hello loved ones this is my third time recording this video I just got a new laptop so I'm still trying to figure things out on it uh, my name is Reverend Penelope Stewart I run the chemistry channel you can follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter welcome new subscribers thank you subscribers for following and liking our videos subscribing to our channel thank you for all your support and today I want to talk about uh, this new book I, I have read has really been instrumental in my healing emotional healing emotional and mental healing uh, been a great tool to use and uh, for those of you who know me know I've been doing a lot of healing and spirit has shared with me that the spiritual journey is our healing journey. It's an integration of spirit when we truly begin to heal because there's a lot of forgiveness, there's a lot of purging, a lot of resolving uh, on our healing journey. And I know most of you are saying, what does this got to do with metaphysics? What does this has, has to do with magic, you know, or your craft? This has everything to do with your craft. This is the foundation to your craft and, and your spiritual journey. Because what you will find when you are going on your journey that you're going to be led back to dealing with yourself. I don't care what spiritual practice or what craft that you're in. At some point, you're going to be faced with with healing yourself doing some work on yourself you know that's what this is all about the inner journey is so important and the more we know about our psychology our emotions and our triggers and start healing them the more intuitive we become and we open up these different talents and we receive these spiritual gifts so going down this healing journey is very it's very important. It is vital to your whole, uh, to your growth. You know, it's vital. So we're never the same. We're always changing. We're always evolving. And that's what this, this growing, this healing is for is to help you grow and help to help you evolve. So this is very, this discussion is very important for that. For those of you that, that, um, have these narcissistic tendencies, or you're an enabler, or you had a childhood uh, adverse experience, you experienced abuse, you live with alcoholism, you've lived with the addict, you know, of some sort, that inner bonding and doing that inner child healing, connecting with the inner child is very, it's very important in your healing process. And being able to connect with your higher self, your higher power, your intuition, whatever you want to call it. Because the more we get this crook, because these are nothing but blockages. Once we get these blockages out the way, we can really work better with spirit. So that's why you're, gonna, you're hearing me talk about working on the inner self, doing the emotional healing. Excuse me. Finding out more about your psychology, why you do the things you do, why you act the way you act, why you feel the way you feel. Those things are very important. Knowing thyself is, is the first step in your, in your spiritual journey. So knowing yourself is very important. Some people do it in reverse. They want to jump ahead and do this and not learn more about themselves. But the, learn, the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn about the ancestors. That, that's just what it comes with the territory. It's, it goes hand in hand. But today I wanted to talk about this book called Inner Bonding. It's by Margaret Paul. Very good book. I was referred to this book in our Know Thyself class. A class member referred this book. I got the book from Amazon. Uh, it was used for about eight bucks. New, it's about 15 or 20 bucks. Really good book. Uh, she also has a YouTube video where she talks about the inner bonding too. I think it's like two hours long, the video. It's very, it's good, but the book is better. 
you know, the book is better to me because more details in the book. Uh, but this this is a really good book. Uh, it has about 12 chapters, 235 pages. I'll try to leave a link here so you can go get it at Amazon if you're interested in doing some work with your inner child or if you're having some problems in your relationships and you don't know what's going on. This is good, you know. If you're looking for a program, if you want a sure-proof program that's going to have you doing the inner work on a daily basis, please consider our Know Thyself program that starts up January 14th, 2019. We give you a program that ensures you uh, your growth that you want, your integration with spirit. You get to find out more about you and why you th do the things that you do and what is causing you to do, you know, those things. So it's a very good course, very good course. I give you a program and you work it. If you work it, you're going to see changes in your life. If you're interested in that, go see our Know Thyself video that I made. I have all the information, how to contact me so I can get you out of registration form if you're interested in that course. But let me jump in here and talk about the Inner Bonding book. I'm going to read a chapter. I'm going to start with chapter one, and I'm going to read a few paragraphs out of chapter one just to give you a feel of the book. Like I said, this is a really good book. It really helps you understand your emotions and how to work better with them with your inner child and how to recognize your inner child when certain triggers or emotions flare up. So let me go in. You've achieved everything you've ever thought you would, would make you happy, but the non-empty feeling that something is missing is still there. To paraphrase Rabbi Hara Kushner, you discover that all you've ever wanted isn't enough. You may feel lost, out of touch with yourself and others. In, in an emotional fog much of, of the time, you often feel as if you're doing nothing more than going through the motions. You may, recognize, you may agonize over feeling insecure, inadequate, unlovable, and alone. These are deeply painful feelings, pervasive and persistent. So painful, in fact, you may have discovered any number of dysfunctional ways to ignore, deny, cover up, or numb the ache of your emptiness. Alcohol, food, work, TV, sex, drugs, all the above. Then one day something happens, a traumatic experience or internal shift. That's what happened to me when I began to go on my spiritual journey and my spirit guides, the ancestors, was telling me I needed to heal from something and come to find out that my ancestors were caught up in a karmic loop into some negative genetic energy patterns. And I needed to work on that in order to restore, reset my ancestral, ancestral patterns. So it begins with me. Sometimes it's only one of us in the family that decides to do this work where we say the karmic loop starts, stops with us. And that's fine. You know, even though that's a challenging, challenging, painful process, it's very rewarding as well. Let me go on. You reach a turning point and ask yourself, as Jeremiah Abrams states in Reclaiming the Inner Child, where is the life we lost in the living? Certainly, you're not alone with these kinds of feelings. Most of us struggle with continuous or periodically reoccurring emotional pain for significant portions of our lives. This happens either because we don't know another better way or because we're unwilling to try. Afraid will only make matters worse. Unfortunately, the pain often has to become intolerable or a crisis must force the issue before we can take action on our own behalf. Take the case of Tom, for example, and she gives you an example of Tom. Let me uh, inject right here. You know, if we fail to do the emotional and mental work on ourselves, uh, it would cause a dis-ease in the body. You will experience, you know, you might 
uh, have cancer. You know, you might get sick or have psychosomatic illness, you know, that come out of nowhere. These emotions and, and, and illnesses will manifest in our body if we do not remove the blockages because that's exactly what these are. These are blockages that's preventing us from growing where, where we need to grow. So this, this is why this is important too because a lot of this has to do with blockages. A lot of you want to know what blockages is, but these are some of the blockages that can stop your spiritual growth. You know, and can stop your from manifestations from coming into your reality because you have these blockages. You haven't really dealt with them yet. Okay. Let's go into what is inner bonding. Inner bonding is a process of connecting our adult thoughts with our in, in, instinctual gut feelings, the feelings of our inner child, so that we can live free of conflict within ourselves. Inner conflict is any kind of upsetting difference between our thoughts, what we think we should do or feel, and our feelings, our gut level of emotions and, and attitudes. When the conflict isn't resolved, that is when we go ahead and take action without regard for our feelings or take action that is opposed to what we feel or to take no action in response to our feelings. Then we've abandoned our feelings or disconnected from them. This disconnection creates the inner turmoil, the unrest we experience as discontentment and unhappiness. Now, I had an episode 2018. That was the lesson for me. I was in, the, I was in therapy and they told me fact was uh, what feelings were not facts. So when I had my intuition told me something was wrong, I didn't trust it. And I had a situation to arise. And if I would have trust my intuition, I wouldn't have never been in that situation. But it was a learning experience. I learned to trust my intuition. And then I also learned that I had a people pleasing. I had a people pleasing thing. I was afraid of someone reacting like my mother in her rage, not one to say no, afraid that they were going to get angry. So I was sacrificing myself trying to, uh, you know, not hurt someone's feeling. So I learned that about myself too. In reading this book, I also learned that I thought, I did a lot of reacting out of my emotions I thought out of my emotions. That's what caused the reactions. Uh, I had an episode, you know, a situation arise during Christmas where I had some family over and there were some triggers and boundaries were crossed. And I was so proud of myself because I did not act. Now, did I feel the intense emotion of the trigger? Yes, I felt the intense emotion of the trigger. But the difference is that I didn't react to the trigger. I took about two or three days to uh, dialogue with my higher power and my inner child. And I was able to lovingly go back and address the situation after I detached. And my way of detaching is writing emails or texts. I do better that way in my detachment, making sure my emotions don't get entangled up in there or somebody else's emotions don't get run high and get entangled up in there. That's my way. It works for me. Everyone is different. That's how I'm learning to uh, navigate my emotions, you know, and keep them in control. But I was so proud of myself the way I handled that. So I saw the growth in that. But, I, you know, I still struggle with the triggers. And it's, it's, I just have to keep going through the motions of responding until I no longer have an emotional reaction to that trigger. That's how I know the block is gone, the trigger is removed. And it's just a process. I Do I like the process? No, I do not like the process. I do not like the process at all. It's very uncomfortable, but it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding. It's something that I have to get used to because I'm not used to doing it. Now, this book, uh, this inner bonding book, getting in contact with my inner child has really helped. And what the therapy that she suggests is, is talking to a teddy bear and then using your own voice within you to respond as the inner child. You can use that method. For me, I do the writing. 
I write to my inner child and say, okay, why are you upset? Why does this make you upset? Why was you triggered by this? And that's the higher self. That's the adult. Uh, that's, that's the adult um, confronting or comforting the inner child. You can call it whatever you want, higher self, whatever you want. And so when I do that, that inner child, my inner child said to me, well, those boundaries have been crossed a long time in your family. And you just, you act passive. You don't say anything about it. And then it it, it wears away at your self-esteem and your self-worth. And it's about time that you say something, you know, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Don't be afraid to protect me and stand up for me. And so I was like, oh, that is the problem, you know. So that's how my inner child uh, talked to me and conversated with me uh, about what was going on with my triggers. Everyone is different. But this lady here, Margaret Paul, she gives very good, uh, you know, she has five steps in here. Where is that at? Five steps to help you work with the inner child. It includes a lot of journaling, but you also can do a teddy bear, teddy bear as well. I, if you're going to do teddy bear, uh, journalize that too. You know, make a journal of that inner child. If you've had any type of abuse, if you missed out on your childhood, you had adverse childhood experience, or you were brought up in a really religious home and you really didn't, where children couldn't have, didn't have a voice. This is a good book for you, you know. I recommend the book. Do not, you do yourself a disservice when we don't do the inner work because that's where the spiritual growth comes in at. That's where the spiritual gifts come in at. That's where you unfold a lot of talents that you didn't realize that you had. So I do recommend the book. Uh, like I said, I found it on Amazon. It was my. It, I bought it used. It was like like eight bucks. Um, what else? It has twelve chapters, about two hundred and thirty five pages in there. Let's see what else about the book. There's a lot of diagrams in here that show you how to work with the inner child. Let me see. Can I show you one? But she has lots of diagrams in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There you go. And what's this diagram called? Core shame, base belief, I am bad, wrong, defective. Like I said, this is a really good book. If you're interested, if you don't, you know, you don't, you want to know more about the book or you want to know more about the author, go look her up on YouTube, type in Inner Bonding, Margaret Paul, PhD. She gives a lecture on how she does therapy, does the inner bonding therapy. But the book is a lot better because you can do the therapy at home and it's really efficient and it does work. I hope you enjoyed this book review. I thank you for being here today, supporting the channel, liking our videos. If you are interested in a program to help you heal and better your relationships, the relationship with yourself, and you want an everyday program, consider our Know Thyself program. Like I said, it starts up January 14th, 2019. Go check out our video. I have all the info there, how to get in contact with me to register for the class. Thank you for being here today. Light and love. Peace. May the ancestors be with you.